Jamaicans are some of the most resilient people in the world, hardworking and strong. And in spite of all the negative press that's out there about our country, I choose to showcase the positive side of Jamaica. As cliche as it might sound, I believe that there is nothing wrong with Jamaica that cannot be fixed with what is right with Jamaica. So, I will travel the length and breadth of Jamaica, showcasing Jamaicans with inspirational and motivational stories, giving Jamaicans who would have otherwise gone unnoticed a chance to showcase their talent, whatever it might be. Highlighting the real heroes of Jamaica, while giving back to our people as much as I can. Our soil is one of the most fertile in the world, and agriculture is a big deal in Jamaica. So it is a great feeling to be standing in the middle of one of the largest time farms in Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. I hope you will enjoy today's video. Hello and welcome back to Shanzen Zen Jamaican Vibes. It is indeed a great pleasure to be standing smack in the middle of one of the largest, if not the largest, time farm anywhere in Jamaica. We're in St. Elizabeth in a community known as New Building and this is Mr. Donovan Smith and he's going to share with us his farming story. As I said, well, this is one of the biggest farming time garden in, in St. Elizabeth. So, Mr. Donovan Smith, how did you begin farming? How you started out farming? Well, to be honest with you, I, I was born a farmer. I, I grew up to see my mom and my dad and my stepfather yeah. doing farming. Yes. So, we were introduced to the children from that age. Right. Right. So, it, it was in us. Mm -hmm. From school and back home. We have all type of animals we have to look after and stuff like that. Yes. Then, I come up here now and I, I branch out on my own. Right. Time farming. So I plant some time. That is the first crop I ever plant as a farmer. Okay, it's I time. see. It's yeah. yes. I do watermelon, tomatoes, cucumber and stuff like that, skeleton. Yes. But I love the time. I love the time farming. Okay. To be honest with you. That's what I specialize in. I can see the garden here. It's a very large garden, but I do it stage by stage. Yes. Yeah, so, so I reap off a, a crop. I replant another one is coming maybe next two weeks I can start reap again. So yeah. it's a rotation, you know? Okay. Yeah, that's how I do it. I don't we I don't reap up everything and then start to plant again. So I reap. Right. I replant. If you can see up there. Yes. I just reap up last week and have the grass, you know, and preparing to, to plant next week, Friday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to shake it down and work it down and prepare to plant next week, Friday. So, right. So that's how the process, you know. Okay. So when you started farming exactly, or taking up farming seriously? Um, 2000, I can remember. Okay. Yeah, year 2000. I remember I was in a, um, I was working in the backside plant. Yeah. Um, on a temporary basis. Yes. Yeah. And then I, I got the work permanently in 98. Mm -hmm. And then 2000, I go on shift. So when you on shift, you know, you do night, days, you know. Right. So you have a lot, you get a lot of days off and stuff like that. So I was actually doing nothing. And then a friend of mine said, who was doing farming, said to me, why you don't try some farming and since you're here, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm help you, I'm going assist you. And yes. That's where I start with the farming. At the spot right here. Yes. That's where I plant the first, first time garden. I okay. Yeah. Right here and then I began to expand, expand, expand. Yes. One right now. One of the biggest time farms in St. Elizabeth. But I think this might be the biggest in yes, Jamaica, to honest, you know. To be honest with you, at, um, I around St. Elizabeth and I don't see anything bigger as this. Yes, yes. yes. Honest with you, yes. So, yeah. being that it's on the main road, has it attracted persons? The a person? whole lot, a whole lot of people. Oh, yes. Overseas and locals. Yes. Yes, uh, you know, so you have Cheddar Beach back that side. Some right. people were going to Cheddar Beach and coming back and, you know, they will stop and view the garden, take photos and stuff like that. And some of them will ask permission, some don't, you know. I don't yes. stop them, I just love them, you know, because I know. It is a great attraction to a lot of yes, people. Yes, it is yeah. something amazing to see, yeah, especially so in person. Yeah, it's so, so, mm -hmm. yeah, so I just love, allow them to do what they have to do. So how successful is farming time for you? Well, 
to be honest with you, I can't complain. I have to give thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I have to give thanks. Mm -hmm. I have to cut my blessing, you know. Mm -hmm. You pay the bills oh. and send the kids to school and stuff like that. You understand? So, yes. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. Oh, okay. I remember one time I, I planted and didn't have any market for it. That yes. field long there and over there you see that naked land there. Right. right. The reason why I see nothing over there and that naked land because it's a lack of water. Oh, okay. And that's why, you know, uh, yeah. And um, like we say we get the water every Wednesday, every Saturday. Mm -hmm. and every other Wednesday but we have to still give thanks for it and depends oh. on rainfall so where you get water from? we get water from the backside plant oh, okay yeah. so they and leave it on all day and yeah, Wednesday they, they and Saturday? they turn it on 6 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and 2 o'clock in the afternoon they close it up oh, okay yeah, so we get it every Saturday and every other Wednesday oh yeah so still we, give, we appreciate it and we give thanks because mm -hmm. it helps us a lot and I see you have drums up there, so you yes. save some of the water. Yes, yeah, harvest some of the water, you know. Yes. Especially when rain falls and turn it on and we don't need it. Mm -hmm. Use it and fill up the tank and fill up the drum and then and the dry with, with the time now. Oh, I use okay. it. I, when I'm planting the time, that's mostly when I use it. The tank here because... Oh, you have a tank up at right, the top there. there. Right, that's right. That's the time when I mostly use it because what happens, if the sun is hot and you're planting the time, you have to have overhead water to cool it off, cool off the head because the sun will burn the leaves. And once yes. they burn, they're going to die. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we use the, the water with a water pump. Yes. Yes, and cool off the time. That's it. And cool off the head of the time. So how easy or how hard is it for you to get market for your time? Well, in this well, before the pandemic, mm -hmm. it was okay. We didn't have a problem. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, but since the pandemic and the hotel industry locked down, the export market and stuff, everything like it was mm -hmm. kind of, you know, go down. Oh, okay. Kind of. It's difficult sometimes, but it's moving, but it's very slow. None is not spoiling on me. Oh, okay. You understand? Yeah, none is not spoiling on me. So I'm giving thanks. I have a couple of people, customers who come around and purchase from me. And that's why I do it in stage. Yes. Yeah, because if I had to plant everything one time, yes. it would have a spoil. Right. Yeah, because that piece of it takes me around two weeks. Cut it off and I saw this one here. Yeah. yeah when this one finished, I can go on this one. Right. All right, right here. So I do it in stage by stage, that, you know. Yes. So, that's Make smart sure. that's yeah. very smart because sure you don't want to have is. everything on you and then you right. don't have the market don't to the sell market it time, yeah. so who purchased um from you is it ben, um, vendors like higglers who go to coronation mm -hmm. right, right across jamaica they go to market in portland mm -hmm. yeah all around montego bay yeah all around and we have men who come around who, who have contact with supermarket and those places oh, okay. and purchase and deliver to the supermarket so what about export well, the export market, um, it's been a while since I, I, um, I, I saw any export come around. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah because maybe because of the, the pandemic, I don't know, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah, but things, that, the pandemic slowed down a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, a lot of things, yeah. yeah. Especially with the hotel industry and stuff like that. Like, it's a season for you. So, do you plant the time from seeds or how you plant it? I see it? one here we plant. Like, like this piece now because the reason why you don't see I have both four or five rows leaves up here because I, have, I can cut from these. Yes. This one here, yeah. So normally what we do with this when I'm gonna plant this coming this way I'm cutting right now. Yes. And just cut bit up in small pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah and I'll put it in. And, yeah, and so you just reap off the time, you don't leave yeah. anything to no, spring no, back. No, no, you don't leave anything to spring. Reap off everything and replant. Yes. Back in the days they uh, we used to do that. Oh, yeah, you used to leave a little to spring, right? Right, right. Right. Nowadays we don't do that. I so do a little. Everything. Yes. And, 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 and replant. You get more heal out of it because when you cut half of it, yes. When you spring, it's very short. Oh. Yeah, so okay. It's less weight. Oh. Yeah. So when you reap everything now, you get uh, yes. more heal out of it. More weight. So how much per pound is time now? Well, time is selling eighty dollars and a hundred dollars per pound right now. Mm -hmm. Because there is a glut on the market. I believe if you watch Sunday news the other day, with the people in New Forest, which has New Forest plant a lot of time. Yes. Yeah, they were saying, you know, it's very slow. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and, and what happened to the time go with the skeleton? Skeleton is very short right now. Yes. So the more skeleton around is the faster you, you get rid of the time. The time sell more. So skeleton should be more expensive now. Right. Yes, yes, skeleton very expensive now. Oh, okay. Very expensive. But I see you have some skeleton up there as well. Yes, what happened with those skeleton, you know, is I have it, I used to plant it down there. If you see it down there. Oh, okay, yes, uh, I'm seeing so it. What happened you was know, the other day I was getting some rain and some heavy night dew. Oh. So here, you know, it, it, that's what they call the frost. Yes. Yeah. It so burned it. It burned it up, so it couldn't sell. Oh, okay. So what I have to do, I have this 
come up with the idea and say, you know what? Things have it there and make it spoil. Yeah. I just rip off everything, beat it and, and plant it through it. So the next four weeks or five weeks I can pull those. And the time is still okay. Oh, okay. Before the time. Yeah, yeah that's that. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's what I did. And you are the only person who manages the time, you do everything in it? No, no, no. Like to spray, yeah. and the water and stuff like that. I'm the one who do but to plant, mm -hmm. I have to get someone to plant it. Oh. To cut the grass and stuff like that, I have to get someone to do that. You can't do everything for yourself. Okay, yes, okay. I have to I have some guys who work with me. Okay. But in, in terms of ensuring that it's, you know, well kept and that yeah, it yeah, comes... Yeah, me. That's all, it's all me. All me. So what time would you get up in the morning and well, come out to do this? Like if I if I'm gonna spray, mm -hmm. you know, so you have to spray the time to keep fungus and worms and stuff. And, you know, mm -hmm. so if I'm gonna spray, I make sure I set my water from overnight and five five thirty, I'm out. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then by nine thirty, ten o'clock, when the sun gets up, I stop. Okay. Yeah, because you know, we can go through all day in the sun. So I'll rise rise early. Right. And right, and then by nine ten o'clock, I'm out. In the evening, three, mm -hmm. four, depends on the condition. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on it again, right? So, if it was yesterday, you wouldn't come here and serve me. Oh, yeah. Because no water would be running, you understand? Oh, yeah, yeah, because, because today is Saturday, you right, saying so Saturday. Because of the water, no, I'm going to be here until after two. Oh. Until the water. Yeah. Right. So I have to rotate and move around the sprinklers. Yes. Yeah, to get the proper way. Yeah. So, do you have problems with like bugs and insects and stuff like that? Yes, we do. Oh, that's okay. why we have to spray them uh, to keep them away. Right. If you come here, if you wish, saw some flies, you know, flying yeah. in there. Because, uh, but because of the spray, they're not going to do any damage. Because if they lay the eggs, they won't hatch. Okay. Right, because the residue is on the plant, you know. Yes, uh, yes. Because what I'll do you now, you know, this piece, I don't spray it because, you know, so I'm selling out of these. Yes. This spray from around three weeks ago. Oh, okay. You understand? Right. Yeah, so because I know I'm going to cut this, I spray it from around three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Right, but I'm not going to cut these for now, so. Well, this is real last week. Mm -hmm. Right, so even if you see the bats, them, they're not gonna do any damage right now. Yes. Yeah, but the main, the main thing is the bats, them, and the, when they lay there, you know, they farm the world. Oh, the that's the makakuku? No, not makakuku. What's <laughs> makakuku? Makakuku under the ground. So, the damage the makakuku will do now, something like this. Sometimes you see this. Oh. Makakuku under the ground there and they eat the root. Oh, yes. Ah, and make it die. You understand? Oh. Okay. Most of these you will see, yeah. I know a little bit about time, you know, because yeah. I plant a little time myself. Okay, yes. But my brother manages it okay. for us, so mm. we do it together. Yes, ma'am. So you don't have any problem with black rat? We used to. Okay. But um, a, a, a gentleman from Rada, he was in my garden, he come around and, and give us some information how to control the black rat. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we have a spray that we use. Okay. Look how the rainfall, look how it cold. Right. No, it, it doesn't black rat. Yeah. So, Back in the days, you used to black rat a lot because we didn't know. You understand? Yeah. yeah. But now we control that. So the, the main thing, we have to the time right now is worm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you have to spray it to, to, you understand, to right. control that. Right? And you don't want to buy it. Say the customer, when they go to the market, you call them back and <laughs> say, boy, a lot of worm. And no, senior. you don't want And another thing that affects us is, is senior. Oh, okay. Yeah, those senior. Slug, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have to mix it. We have to cut up our papa, we use our rice and, stuff and spread it. You know, when they plant it, if them eat it, mm -hmm. it come like them mud pies. Yeah, they say goat mud pies. Yeah. Right, that's what happened. It's not gonna grow. It's not gonna spring. Okay. No, okay. It's not gonna grow back. Right. Long they squall and it and eat. Yeah. So, um, for those who don't know, Rada is a rural agricultural yes. development agency, yes. and you have signed up with them, right? Yes, I am signed up with Rada and from 2011. Okay. I'm with Rada. I'm signed up with Rada. Yeah. So, have they been assisting you? Well, um, a gentleman come around from time to time and, mm -hmm. yeah, and we talk and stuff like that. But assistant in like in fertilizer and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No one ever get any benefit like that. And, oh, okay, I see. Yeah. But I really start with them, so. Yes. Yeah. They need to do more for farmers like you, man. Yeah, they... it's true. But sometimes, trust me, when I need some assistance, you know, even with the fertilizer, you understand? Yeah. Because, you know, so that is the main, the biggest factor, because it's very expensive. Yeah, man. Yeah, and to, yeah. And to help inspire what you're doing, because yeah, this true. is not anything small. This is a wide, this is a big farm, you know, yeah, a very big farm. As I said, I think the man is coming come around, and from time to time, so I hope things will be change, will change, and, you know, yes. some assistance. Yeah. Okay. But, 
I'm giving thanks to where I'm at and you know. Yeah. Or I can manage so, you know. Take care of the garden and Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a lovely farm man. Yes, so, Did like in. Look, you see? You see this one here? Oh, this is so okay. I see. One will the eggs that look like how I still is a spray. Yes. Not going to do any damage. Okay. They live in there, but they can't do any damage. I see. Oh, I see them flying. Yes, them flying there, yeah. But as you said, this this part is going to you're gonna sell from this part. Too? No, no, not gonna sell from this part. No. Oh, okay. That's what, that's, you can see the border there. I oh. got that piece right there. Right. Oh yes, I see. Yes. Yeah, so when I finish this piece, now I will come on this side. Yes. Yeah, so, so and that side it. is obviously full, more yes, full. Yes, yes, that side is full. Because we got some more, you know. But if I got the job, if, if I was getting rain on it. Yes. Yeah, because it's on the jeep, yeah. and so you get you get more nutrients because what I did with the jeep, I. I like the 2020 and what they call well growth 2020. Yeah. That I use it from that, with that white drum there. Oh. And okay. keep it straight to the root. I see, I yeah. see. So like these one over that don't jip up. You have yeah. to um through the spray pan, through the leaves. Mm. So when you get it through the root, it's better. Yes. Right. Yeah. And get, and you get a bigger yield. Yeah. Oh okay. Right. Have you ever tried um organic fertilizer before? When I used to plant watermelon, oh, okay. I used to, with the time I used 14, 28, 14. Yes. Yeah, and that, that's, that's the way. That's the way. Yeah. Because I know a gentleman that he he sells the liquid organic fertilizer. Mm, yes, I heard about it, you know. I yes. heard about it. It would be, be suitable for this like this and the chip. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because you but can spray it and you can also put it in the right. drums mm. to water it. Right. Because it's the first time I'm planting. Time and jipping. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just put this piece of land to, to plant um, cabbage. Oh, okay. Right, and, and lettuce. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what I just thought about. What, what I find out. Mm -hmm. This prep land, not a man. It's a reclaimed land. Mine oh. out, backside company, mine it out. Yes. And reclaim it. Okay. So I have a lot of stone, a lot of limestone. Oh, right, so I see. When I plant, used to plant watermelon and stuff like that, it's beer. Mm -hmm. But when you look, you, you see the, the leaves, they start to get yellow. Oh. That the road touched the limestone. I see. Yes, yeah. I, I heard some person saying. Yes. When the, the melon, when you plant the melon, right. and the limestone is in the earth, yeah. that happens to the leaves. Right, right. So yeah. you, you see that seal there more time. I want to jump up some of these printers. Mm -hmm. I have to have my hammer. Uh, punch a hole. Okay. I feel what it is because the limestone is on this down there. You understand? Yes, yes. As much yes. top soil is not there. So. Okay. Right, right. So even. With the time here, yeah. sometimes if you look, you see some head, some head very big, mm -hmm. some small. Yes. Yeah. Because of the, the soil, the top soil. Okay. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Not complete. Yes. Because on the south side now, mm -hmm. those land don't mine now. Oh. Yeah, so they can jeep and the other sand. Yeah. If you jeep here, you have to avoid it because the soil is so shallow. As the jeep, it just disappears in this area. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's what happened. So discover that happened. So, um, what advice would you give to youngsters who are out there and, you know, they have nothing to do and they want to get into farming, maybe farming time in particular, what advice would you give them? Well, if you want to, you don't have to be time, any type of farming. Yes. Yeah, man. I try to start small. Mm -hmm. Don't go big one time, you understand? Yeah. Try small and try to get, have some idea what you're planting and have some knowledge about the, the crop what you, that you're going to plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just go into something and depending on someone to do everything. You understand? Yes. You have to, you have to be around. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and yes. Especially if you have, if you have a nine to five job and you have a lot of spare time, it's good to have something on the side. Yes, true. As when they say, one hand can clap. Yes. So if you have your time, you have your work and you have your farm. It's to income that. You understand? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's true. You're not gonna gain at all times, you know. And maybe the reward what you're looking for in the beginning, you're not gonna see it. Yeah. But you can't give up. Good yes, advice. Yes, so good advice. Continue, so. You go to farming is a it farmer farming will never go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you see more young people is taking it up right now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's what I yeah. Both my nano man right now is taking up um, young people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is it is very feasible, especially mm. in this time. You know, yes. a lot of persons yeah. are either out of their job because right. of the pandemic and right, you know. Right, yeah. So it's Farming is something that they can look into, definitely. Yeah.
And this is one of the success stories. Yes. yes. I like, I, I, sometimes I come out here, and especially in early morning when the Jew is on it. Yes. I just come and stand up and look. It's a beauty to see. Yes. 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 It you makes you feel good, yes, right? Man, yes. <laughs> not, sometimes it's not what you make, you know, but yes. you, you have the satisfaction inside yourself. Well, it's real, you know? Yes. I do some videos and have it on my phone, and you know, because back in the days, maybe spread around in life. Yeah. Maybe I have kids, so grandkids and so I, would, I can show them and tell them, well, look what I used to do. And you know? this will be in the archives too for them mm. to see. So yeah. they can go back in my archives and see what their daddy or granddad right, used to do. Right, right. <laughs> yes. So any of your kids uh, have ever think about, you know, doing farming themselves? Well, I can treat it. Yes. Two boys, one girl. Okay. Yeah. This one is a police officer. Yeah. Yeah, but he, he, he runs a farm also, sweet potato and poor ch chicken. Okay. Right, so, but you know, so, because after his job, he have to get a lot of people to assist him. Yes, yes, right, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'm say it is in his being because his mother is a farmer also. Okay. Right, you understand? And so yes. when you grow up in something, yes. yeah, he never leaves it. <laughs> That's yeah. great. It's a farming yeah. family. Yeah, and well, the other two now is very young, you know. Yeah. The son is in high school, my daughter is in kindergarten. So, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So, hope to tell maybe you don't know the future home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're still around. Maybe they become interested in it also. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us. Yeah. It was indeed a pleasure to be here with you. Mm -hmm. And I wish you all the best in your farming. And I hope that, you know, this pandemic will we'll leave us soon. We'll leave us soon. <laughs> and, you know, you'll see more success. Right, right. Right. So, yes. thank you guys for making it Shanzen Zen Jamaican vibes. Remember, walk good and make good doppy walk with you. <laughs> okay.